Oh, yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Those will work. Awesome. All right. So this is Cameron Fryer. Um, he's one of my old students and also one of my old football players. Uh, we have signed play for football and baseball at Florida State. Um, he's gracious enough to come talk to you guys. But, uh, you know, yeah, y'all need it. So hopefully, yeah, it'll work now with speakers. Go ahead and speak. Can you hear me? What's up? Yeah. <clears throat> Here we go. Try that. You hear me? Yeah. Oh, well. We'll, we'll, we'll get it to work. All right. So, if y'all just do your best to hear, um, if, you, if you don't mind, you can try to yell a little bit and talk a little louder. And we'll see. Yeah. Um, so, if you can, introduce yourself and if you don't mind. Yeah. So, like you said, my name is Camden Fryer. I'm from Lake City, Florida. So, um, just, you know, North Florida of y'all, um, you know, I've played football and baseball my whole life, and I am blessed to be able to go to Florida State University. Um, I love it here, and, um, you know, I, would, I wouldn't do anything else in the world, and I appreciate y'all letting me do this. All right. So uh, a couple of kids want to ask you questions and stuff. If that's all right with you. That's great. All right. So, Lyndon, you off rip. So you might have to come closer. Come closer. Yeah, so if, if you want to talk, you're fine. Um, if you don't, it's okay. But they say just come a little closer and he'll be able to hear you. Um, my question is, what does it feel like to play against college level DBs and what's the hardest who's the hardest DB you win against? Well, I wish I could really answer this for you. So, so far we've only done like conditioning and weightlifting. So I leave for spring break. I actually, I go back home today and I'll, you know, I'll have my spring break for the week. And then when I come back, that's when we start actually doing football and going against each other and stuff like that. So, so far I haven't really went against any DBs, but I'm sure the hardest one's probably going to be Shaheen Brown. And he actually went to the same high school I did, but um, I'm sure that would be him. But, you know, honestly, just, we we have run routes and they have kind of gotten in front of us, but we haven't like actually done one on ones. And you can definitely tell just the way their technique is and the way they are. It's a whole lot different than high school. And another question is: And do stars determine who the better player is in general? Talking about your career. stars do not determine who is the better player. No, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Stars would help get eyes on you for sure stars would you know just help people know who you are but that has the people who give you stars they can easily be wrong so i've known some highly recruited four stars or some five stars that aren't as good as you would think they would be in high school but then i've also met some people who are like no stars who are like man that dude should have some stars you know so i mean it's I would say no, but at the same time, it's not bad to have stars. But don't let that just, you know, get into your head or, you know, let, let other people get into your head because of that. All right, he's got one more. And my question is, what does it take to play on a college level? You got to want it really bad. Like, this this can't just be something that you're like, oh, I'm going to do this. Like, you have to want it. You have to love it because, you know. It's not easy. It is fun. I, I'm loving it up here. But what, when people ask me how is it, I, I keep telling them that it's the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's probably the most fun I've ever had. So, you know, getting up at 5 a.m. twice a week and doing these tour of duty workouts, which is, you know, it's the hardest thing I've ever done, you know. But, it, I mean, like I said, it's fun. Um, You know, the weightlifting is, is tough. The school – um, so far, it's okay, but, you know, it's it's going to pile up, especially when I start getting into my major. Um, and then just going back to high school, like, you know, trying to, you know, have time management with, you know, two sports and also doing college classes in high school so I can get here. Um, you know, it you have to love it and you have to really want it. That's what I would say. Okay. I was 
Alright, uh, let's see, Caden, L, you want me to ask it? Alright, so Caden, L, asked, was it difficult to stay committed during, to FSU during recruited, recruiting? I remember looking at this one. Um, so, honestly, yes, it was. I'm not going to lie to you. So, I committed to Florida State at a very young age because um, – just the way things were going at my high school and things like that, I was – honestly, I was scared that I wouldn't get my, many more offers between COVID. And I was at – my my freshman sophomore year, I was at a high school that wasn't really doing well. Um, so, I committed – and I, I've always loved Florida State. So, I committed – and I was happy that I committed. And I, I was loving it. But then, you know, between just – Scared that Coach Norvell wasn't going to make it between scared that it wasn't the right fit for me because I, I did commit a little early and just, um you know, all the factors going into it. And then Alabama was recruiting me very hard. And, um you know, Alabama is Alabama. And, you know, with you know, with having Nick Saban telling you that he wants you, you know, that's, that's really tempting. So I went there a couple of times and it, it, it did feel really good. Like it felt like a fit. But towards the end, you know, between Coach Norvell and my wide receivers, Coach Coach Dugans, I knew Florida State was a place I needed to be, and I'm so glad that I came here. But yes, it, it was, it wasn't like difficult, but it wasn't exactly easy. Like I definitely did, thought about it for sure. All right, that was, that was good, good. All right, Logan, you want to ask this one? You want me to ask him? You want me to ask him? All right. Yeah, well, y'all, y'all talk every other day, class. Y'all want to talk now. You get somebody. All right, so Logan, which is right here, right here. Yeah, I see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Logan asked, "What is like so? What are some some things that you had to do in high school to help you get to FSU, and what was the hardest part about it?" So, some things I had to do is um to get to. I definitely had to do more schoolwork earlier as in to the point where I was having to drive to our local college twice a week my senior year to get the classes required now this was to leave early I will say and then I was also having to start some um, I think three or four college classes my junior year so school-wise I just had to start college a little early and then which you know I guess nowadays a whole bunch of people do that but you know for me school you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world for me, I will say. So it, it was challenging for me. And then also, um, you know, between just, you know, making sure you got practice every day, doing extra practice on your own. If you get an opportunity to go to a football camp or a baseball camp, take use those opportunities to help get your name out there, help get your name out there and just help better your skills and your skill set. So I guess I would say extra work. Um, You know, if you do what everyone else does, then – how does that make you any different? How does that make you any better than, you know, the average athlete or student to, you know, make it to the next level? Logan, that answer? All right, sweet. All right, uh, Keith, you ready to ask this one? Oh, hold on. This question was from two. It's from Keith and Riken. Uh, All right. So, no, that was a big one. So I just reworded what you said. So y'all have the same one, okay? Yeah. Uh, how did you manage to study for tests and do sports on the same day? Ugh. So in high school, in high school, I'd have to stay up past my bedtime. Um, but. Uh, I, it, it it wasn't easy. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it was definitely worth it at the end. But, you know, I, I so I have to go to school and, you know, OK, I got a test, go to practice, get done at, you know, six, seven o'clock. I live 30 minutes from the school, eat dinner. By the time I'm like totally ready to, you know, study, it's eight o'clock, nine o'clock. And, you know, then I got to get up early for school the next morning. So, you know, I'd get a little study in it for an hour to, you know, 10, 10, 30, and I'm, I'm about ready to go to sleep. So I guess my – what I did was I started studying well before um, well before my test actually was. I wouldn't study the night before, just the two nights before. 
um, I'd get ready, you know, almost a week before. And, you know, it, it suck. And, you know, I, I do like to procrastinate. So, like, I, I hate it. I'm like, man, I got this test next week. Why am I starting to study for it now? But it just it just, so I can just relax. I wouldn't be as stressed. Um, I was a big enthusiast on just asking the teacher for help. I Even if I didn't like 100 percent need it and I was doing fine in the class. But, you know, I'd always just go up and just talk to the teacher. Um, I got I, I bonded even if me and the teacher didn't see eye to eye all the time. I always just try to have a good relationship with them so I could always ask them for questions. And that would always help me because they know that I care. So I guess my biggest thing would be just, you know, don't procrastinate and do it the night before, you know, just just plan ahead. And then in college, um, thankfully, we have a whole bunch of people that help us and they they do our schedule for us, um, which is very nice. So I don't have class from like 815 to two o'clock like y'all might have. I'm not exactly sure when y'all get to leave the school, but um. So, you know, I, I have one or two in-person classes a day, a couple online classes a day, but, you know, it's just assignments. So I don't have to online every day. So I'll have meetings and we'll go over, you know, what I need to do and with the test with these academic advisors. Oh, sorry. Oh, I already canceled it. Sorry, sorry about that, Kim. Oh, my we, bad. We had another um, principal that was trying to join. Uh, it's okay. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, let's, uh, I don't know how to pull her back in. Well, I'll, so, I'll, I'll text her. Yeah, text him to tell us uh, my bad. All right, so, Lee, are you got a good question? All right, come on. All right, so this one's not, I ain't gonna lie, this one isn't on the paper because he wasn't here yesterday. So this one, right. he's going to ask for you, so good luck. It's a good, it's a good one, though. What is some advice that you can give to young athletes? Well, I would say is kind of going back to 100% to the stars. Don't let other people with stars, and you may not have stars, don't let that get you down. Do not let other people get offers get you down. You just have to worry about yourself, as in the point where you just, you know, have total vision into what, what you want to do. Um, take any opportunity that is given to you when it comes to camps and, you know, just going to meet college coaches in, in, in any type of college, don't turn down, you know, if it's not Florida state, if it's not Alabama, if it's not Georgia, don't, you know, I mean, yes, that's the goal, but at first we want to just have build as many relationships as you can. So when I was first going on and baseball recruiting started a little earlier, I was talking to any college that I could, you know, if any email was like real and legit, and, you know, it seemed beneficial to me, I would respond to it, you know, fill out the questionnaires that ask for height and weight and GPA and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I, I talked to your, your head, I don't know if you play football. Yeah, you play, I'm head football coach, you know, I'm like, hey coach, you know, this is what I want to do. You know, if, there, if there's anything that you can help me out with, if you see anything that you think I need to do, if you have any relationships with coaches, get my name out of there, stuff like that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a process getting, you know, just trying to get to the college level because you just got want people to just hear your name. And I, and I got another question. Um, what is your mindset when you get like outdid on the field? Like, what is what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Mine is um, you know, I like to have fun. My biggest thing is to have fun. I, if I'm ever out on the field and I'm not having fun and I'm stressed out, then I don't play well. I like to play loose, you know, smile. Um, you know, I, I talk, just be positive. Like I, I, I'll get out, you can ask my teammates, especially at practice, we'll be in the middle of a play and like, I got the ball in my hands and my teammates are trying to tackle me and I'm laughing and like, they, they, they think it's funny, but it's just, I'm enjoying the game and it, I play loose and I play better like that. Not when I'm so tensed up, you know, freaking out, um, that, and just, you know, just remember your craft and just, you know, just stay within yourself. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Hey, uh, I I have a question for you, uh, Kevin. At the top, uh, so does how does surrounding your how does or let me explain it. How do you surround your pe yourself with the positive people to help support your goals and stuff? And how would bad 
a bad group of friends or a bad group of people affect what you do and how are you need to get to accomplish your goals? So I've had to, I'll say, I guess distance myself from, All right. from friends over the year. Yes, ma'am. I just dropped a few. Okay. Um, I will say, yes, I've had the distance from some friends from over the year. And um, just because, you know, I, they didn't have the same goals as me and they weren't setting the same path as me or that they didn't want the same path as me. You know, if I go and hang out with them and do the same things that they were doing, then, you know, it definitely could have, you know, not, you know, what's, um, what's the word? Um, Definitely could have. I can't find the word. Deterred? Yes, from me, just from what I wanted to do. And, you know, just me getting around like-minded people, like my best friends, you know, they my best friend in the world who I hang out with every day or who I did hang out with every day, he plays baseball at the University of Central Florida, uh, UCF. And, you know, so we have my a, best we have a UCF, UCF alum in here. She's all excited. <laughs> and um, but he was he was my best friend because mostly because we had the same goals and the same mindsets. And, you know, so us going to work, you know, every day. But, you know, we also we go and we'd have fun. We like to hunt and fish and ride on the boat. But, you know, we always made sure that we got our schoolwork done first. And we always made sure that we got our, you know, he's a pitcher and I'm an outfielder. So we always made sure he pitched his bullpen if he needed to or did his stretching if he needed to. And made sure I got my swings in or made sure I got my catches on the jugs in before we would go and have fun. Um, that's just what we, that's just how we were. And that's why me and him, you know, we're we're blessed enough to be able to play at D1 um, ball clubs. And so I, I did have some friends, who, you know, early in my high school where, you know, they were my friends, but, you know, they they'd ask, they'd, let's go do this. Let's go do this. You know, man, I got to go. I got to hit, man. Forget about him. You can do that tomorrow. Or they just they would have bad habits, you know, and put things in their body that they shouldn't. Um, so, you know, it just being around that, it's, it's you know, when you're around that again and again and again, and OK, well, I'll miss one workout. Well, I'll miss two workouts. And then you, you, you miss a lot of your workouts or you miss you don't study. You don't do your work. Man, I'll just I'll take a zero for this assignment. My grade will still be fine. You know, just it, that can easily happen when you're around people who. You know, just, you know, they would just want you to go have fun with them and you're, they're, they're not locked in on the same goals that you have. So 100 percent having like minded people who have the same goals as you, you know, e easily can determine your future. I did that. All right, good. All right. We're probably going to have time about five more questions. Is that right with you, Camden? That's great. I got nothing to do till about three. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> so two people asked this one I guess Kylie doesn't want to talk but I'll ask her a question in a little while so oh, what kind of personal math do you use in like the sports you play in so I saw this and I was trying to think about how to answer this question so Football, I guess, is simple math. I mean, football, I guess the most time I use football is I can count by fives, um, you know, with, you know, certain routes that I have to run, you know, and you, we got the yard markers. So, you know, I'll have a 10-yard dig, a five-yard slant, you know, and I just – I'd have to map that out really quick in my head or, you know. But, you know, honestly – not too much of the math goes into football or baseball. Thank, thank the Lord. <laughs> but you know, you you do have to be able to. I guess m mostly, I would say when I, at receiver, you got to be able to think on a dime and how far you have to run, especially when you're not lined up on the actual yard marker. You kind of got to use your brain a little bit. Um, but be, and just be able to count in your head just like that because you know the snaps fixing to come. But there's not too many times where you got to use a whole bunch of extensive math. I would say. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. So this one, this one is from from Kaylee. I don't know if you see her. She's back there in the red shirt. Um, I do. She's she's scared to talk. Um, so I'm gonna ask this question for her. So just let you know, we all see it. Uh, 
So Katie wants to know, like in middle school, what was your what was your worst subject that you had to get over? Like your worst subject? Uh, probably algebra one. Um. So I had thankfully I had my the softball coach was my teacher and you know so she was real forgiving with me and you know because I think she understood athletes a little bit so I was blessed to have that but you know I, I've never been too great at math um so I, I gotta take college algebra next semester and I'm scared out of my mind but um I know, so I guess I guess I'd have to say algebra one um. We, we we passed, we we made it, but it definitely wasn't easy. So the other part of the what um answered another question. So what was your best subject in school? I guess co me and you and Coach Nelson's class doesn't really count as a subject. Oh, no, that don't count. <laughs> um probably history. I loved history. Um that was also the baseball coach, and that was one of my, you know, one of my favorite people on campus. Um so, I uh, and I, I don't. It just it was very interesting to me. So I guess I, I I loved history and I had a good teacher, so it made it interesting. And good. Well, yeah, thank you. Good. Wow. Oh, they decided they were a football game today. Um, <laughs> if you had to pick football or baseball, which one would it be? Well, I'll go. Oh my! Every year, someone asks. I say every year, um, about that's once me. a week. That's me. me that. <laughs> I ask them that all the time. Yes, you do. And what? Just about what I tell everyone is, if I had to pick today, I would say football. I enjoy football more. I have more fun playing football. But my father thinks I'm better at baseball, and he and also he want he he would like me to play baseball because I don't get banged up as much. Um, I just enjoy football more. So if I had to say anything, I would say football. Yeah, I have another question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did you have to accomplish to become an athlete? Um, I think I had to. I would say that I have to just get over the fear of failing because you're gonna fail. Um, you know, when I was, when I was younger and, um, you know, um, what, what do they call you coach? They just call me Mr. Barry. Mr. Barry. He said he was, he was my coach, but so. You can call me coach. You can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> um, so he, he could definitely attest to this. I didn't handle, handle failure well when I was young. Um, you know, I'd get upset. I'd cause a scene. And, you know, it, it would really affect my teammates, my coaches. It really affect me. So I, I would I say get over the fear of failing. Um, I'd also say, you know, just enjoy the work, um, you know, just enjoy the grind because in the end it will pay off, especially in, But if, if you just enjoy it, it makes it even better. Um, and then, you know, just make sure you have fun. I mean, if, if you if you don't have fun, then what are you doing it for? Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, like I said, probably about two more, if you don't mind. I don't uh, mind a bit. Levi had asked. Levi's right here up front. I don't know if he's, yeah, he's waving up here in the blue shirt. And uh, Levi said, like, wh I think we may have answered this. Uh, he said, what are some steps? What are this, like? What are some steps that you use to be successful? And also, is college hard? Like, to, I guess to be successful in college, to make is college hard so far? Um, so my first week here, I was stressed out of my mind, um, because we have this, we have this app on our phone and it, it has a schedule and I'm looking at it. I'm like, holy cow, I got this at 8 a.m., this at 9, this at 9.30, this at 10, 11, like all the way to about four o'clock. I'm like, holy cow. So, and then I was like, okay, now I'm starting college class. I got forensic science. What is, what is even that? I got, you know, and I got an online art. How does that even work? So just. My first week here, I was stressed out of my mind, but then, but I learned that it, it wasn't too difficult. Um, you know, thankfully we have, you know, people here that set up our schedule and they make it doable. Um, you know, the coaches, 
you know, they're gonna get on your tail. They're gonna they're gonna be hard on you, but this you can understand that they just want the best from you. Um, so mentally, I guess just yeah. I mean, you're on your own now, so you know you have to wake up on your own. You have to you know you got to make your own food or just get your own food. Um, you know you you're, you have your own money. You got to be financially responsible with your money. Um, so I guess my biggest thing is you know I, I'm. I'm no longer with my parents and my family. Um, thankfully, I'm not too far from them. But, you know, I, so I got I have to be responsible for things like that outside of football. Um, and I do it in the, with the school. You do have we do have people that kind of help us here with our academics. But, you know, I still have to be responsible for doing them. Um, and then, you know, the 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 physical part of it with, you know, just what so far we've only gone weightlifting and conditioning it's a whole lot different than high school. Um, so, you know, you, you kind of got to just prepare yourself more and, you know, physically and what you're eating, what you're drinking and things like that. Man, and you got another one? All right. All right. He, he, this, this, he is, he was a little excited about this. So he's all excited. Oh, I, about love it. So. I love it. Um, so say, say you, playing wide receiver, and what if your coaches don't see your full potential you don't get enough play time? If coaches don't see your potential, you get enough play time? No. What if they don't see your full potential you don't get enough play time? Okay. So um, I would always say, especially if you're young, get on special teams. As, as a receiver, get on special teams. Um, So I, I played as a freshman on varsity so I didn't re exactly start at the beginning of my freshman year I wasn't getting that many balls I wasn't getting that many um catches so you know um you know, I was like man I, I'm, I'm gonna get on special teams too because I want them to see that I can I can help produce on the field and you know I went made a couple plays on special teams down on kickoff or kickoff return um just even if it's just you're going to tackle someone or you're going to block for someone if even if you're not the returner it just shows that you want to be out there and that you can help produce. And if you do that, you make a big play on special teams. It'll be like, okay, you know, he's working hard. You know, let's 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 try to get him a catch here or there. We'll see what he does with it. And just make the most of every opportunity. If you if you do get a catch, you know, just make it seem like it's your last catch you'll ever get. Um, that's what I had to do my freshman year because I didn't get that many catches my freshman year of high school. So, and I'm sure my freshman year of college is going to be the same way. So any time that I touch the ball this year, um, you know, it's going to be like it's the last catch I ever get. I'm going to refuse to go down. I'm going to refuse to just you – know, I'm going to just absolutely do whatever it takes to just give them my best to show them that I want to be there and I want to play and that I can help this football team win. You good? Mm -hmm. Hey, can I, can I ask you a question about your NIL deal? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, so uh... – did you sign the NIL deal to be have your name in the game? That's all. That's all I, I did. All right. I I did. It's um, you know, it's just you know they get us on an app and they ask if we want to do it. We say yes, and we just kind of put in our information. Um, so you know, I don't I don't know how well it's going to look like the actual players because you know I'm not a big person like Travis Hunter or um Carson Beck. So I probably but like you know my name will be in it, so I'm excited about that. That's good. So you're gonna have plenty of touchdowns in uh franchise the first year, right? Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> so Candom, as a non gamer, I just wanna make sure that all my students hear this, that if they play the game, they're gonna be able to pick you as one of the possible players. Is that how that works? Um, yes, ma'am. Um they will, which is it's it's kinda of mind blowing to me. I never thought that would happen, but yes, ma'am. So on the you know NCAA twenty five, I will be in the game, so I am excited about that. All right, last question for you. This is a fun yes, one. Sir. What kind of do you like extra butter in your popcorn? <laughs> when, when you go, so, of course. Uh, <laughs> like when you, <laughs> that was, it was a joke. But you like butter in your popcorn when you go to the movies or anything? Of course, but I'm more of I'm more of a cheese guy. But yes, I do like butter. <laughs> all right well Camden I, I appreciate you doing this man like I, I really do like, and thank you for uh, thank you for like you know doing this for us and everything like that
I'm and I'm glad the kids were all excited to have this opportunity to speak to you and all that good stuff. Like, um, y'all, do y'all wanna you wanna say anything to them before they say anything? I wanna thank you too, Camden, because uh, and thank you for being okay about my meeting. I sent that said Saturday. You're probably like, wow, they're really dedicated to those kids. But <laughs> my mistake, <laughs> we really appreciate you taking time to talk to the kiddos. This has been probably one of the most motivating things they've had since they've come here to the middle school. So thank you so much for doing that. But now I'll step back and let you say anything you want to do to the kids. No, no problem. Thank y'all so much for letting me do this. And, um, you know, I appreciate y'all just letting me be able to talk to y'all. This is, I've, I've enjoyed this. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know if you can hear them. They all said thank you. Y'all know yes, I can. One, two, Three. Thank you. All right. Y'all. Hey, thank you, Camden. Enjoy your spring break. Enjoy yes, your good to see you, Coach Barry. I can see you too. I'll keep in touch. Yes, sir, for sure. All right.